Hello, welcome back. Today is uh, Tuesday. It's the 26th um, and of March and welcome back to March Vlogs. Uh, yeah, I haven't really got much to say today. Um, it's been a very quiet one. Uh, yeah, I got up this morning. I edited yesterday's vlog. I went on Zoom. Ian got up and went to the garage because there was something wrong with his car. Um, and I've just been knitting and that has been basically it. Um, so here is the second sock. I still haven't done the cuff on the first one yet uh, but I want to get to uh, 60 rounds of the foot on this one and then that way I can put in the cuffs at the same point and decide whether I want to put more colours in or not. I don't think I do. Um, I think that the 60 rounds should be enough. Um, so yeah, that is what I've been doing while uh, I've been on Zoom and we've been talking about uh, like how much yarn I've got left over and one of the ladies, June, hi June, uh, said that why don't I put the leftovers in my cosy memory blanket. I didn't even think of that, I did not think of that at all. Uh, so that is probably what I'm going to do is I, I need at least five grams to go into that so I'll weigh the ones that I've got any more than five grams of and then that way I can put them in my cosy memory. Uh, I've just made a coffee, it is half past three. I'm going to put some telly on and just sit and chill for a bit. I've been chilling most of the day but <laughs> um, dinners, I already went and bought dinner yesterday. Look at this bit of my hair, I think it's like the fringe bit here that I've had trimmed. Um, so I've got like a pineapple on my head now. <laughs> um, I should see what it's like down really but never mind um, yeah um, so yeah that is pretty much all I've been up to today not a lot so today's vlog is going to be very short uh, we're going to be having uh, firecracker prawns for dinner which takes literally about 10 minutes to make, uh, not long at all. Um, yeah, so I've just come on to really say I haven't got much to, to talk about and I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes if I'm not out and about or doing anything. Um, I, uh, I've got no plans for the weekend. It's bank holiday weekend coming up. Um, we've got no plans because Ian is working. Um, I am going to see my uncle on Friday with my sister and the boys um, as it's Easter Friday and plus um, obviously the boys won't be at school and stuff so um, we'll probably go there for lunch uh, on Friday and see him. He's moved now as well so he's moved to the flat directly downstairs to where he was before um, so it make it easier. I've broken now this morning. Um, so I've, I've managed to file it so it doesn't look too bad. Um, it's sort of cracked through the middle. I don't know. So uh, I'll probably just wait to get them that done uh, when I get an infill done. But that wasn't done that long ago. So that's a little bit annoying. Never mind. Um, what else? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I haven't really got much else to say so uh, I'm going to go and I will catch up with you later just in case there's anything else that I want to say um, and I'm going to hopefully get these socks finished and then I'm going to weigh the yarn, put what the yarn that I need into my cosy memory bag and then um, who knows I might even do a square, I'm doing whatever tickles my fancy at the moment. So. Let's finish these socks. I'm rolling the dice. I did put the dice app on my phone because I was using my iPad to zoom. And it works exactly the same. Uh, but I do think, I do think it's a little bit, um, it's not very random. <laughs> um, because I'm not getting the random stripes, really, that I was hoping for. Uh, but they're still very pretty and they're very pastely. Um, so this is all Mouse Witch Yarns Advent. And like this, it does look quite pastely and Easter, like the chocolate at the bottom and all the little mini eggs in between. So yeah, I'm really, 
really happy with the way they've turned out and hopefully I can get them finished so I can wear them at the weekend, Easter. Uh, yeah, I have got some other Easter socks as well that I've knitted in the past um, so I should pull them out as well and, and wear them but I haven't got any socks on my feet at the moment. <laughs> um, never mind. Right, I'm going to go stop just waffling um, and I'll catch you up a little bit later. So it's much later on again. Like I said, today's been a really quiet day and I've really not been up to much. Um, I've not been doing much, that's, that's what, yeah. But I have finished a pair of socks. Um, I am just about to uh, cut the ends on this pair. So I've, I have started, I've cut, and the way that I'm going to do it is just, so I've weaved and stevened these in and I'm just going to pull this and then pull it back um, to give it a bit of extra but I want to pull it at the join here um, because on the actual join it's quite loose so if you can see on this sock um, the, the stitches and the join's quite loose so I just pull that tight and then um, these will be done, I'll be able to weigh them. Um, I did have um, this much left of the yarn I used for the cuff and the toe and then for the heel I used a lighter colour which was this one but let me show you them close, to, them close together. They're not that much different, they are quite similar and yeah, I'm just really pleased with how these have turned out. I really, really like them. I have tried them on and they fit fine. So I know 60 stitches on a 2.5 um, needle will fit me fine. Um, no problems at all. So I know that I can get um, away with that. I'm just worried about the heel. So basically... I've done six, when I normally do a fish lips kiss heel, um, obviously I have um, 32 stitches on the needle, um, where this time I only had 30 stitches. So I know you have to sort of split, split it into three, but what I did was I still did my usual 10 decreases either side, so I only had eight in the middle instead of 10. And then I just reversed that going the other way to increase. Um, I think it's turned out pretty well. <laughs> Got a dangly, I feel like a, um, what is it? An, is it an elf that have dangly things on their toes? I don't know. Um, but I think the heel is turned out quite nice. I know you can't really see that very well. But look how pretty these socks are. I'm so happy. Um, and I did a stretchy bind off, so I could have got away with um, wrapping an extra one um, every two, but I did wrap an extra on every one, uh, so they are a little bit f like fanned out a little bit. But once they're in, on my leg, they'll be fine. It's just like this. Obviously, it's a bit more fanned out. Also, this evening, so I've done that, and then what I'm going to do is weigh my yarn and then put the yarn that I've got five grams or more into my cosy memory bag, which I've just got out here um, to add more yarn to that. But also, I was explaining on my video that the sleeves of my Bustleton was quite big, and the lovely Sue suggested that I could crochet. Um, around the sleeve hole and I did use the um, yarn that she sent me which was this one which is a cotton yarn and I've done that this evening I was I was worried it was like you know it's one of them jobs oh I, yeah I will do that I will do that and I thought to myself I just need to do it because otherwise it won't get done and I won't wear this top as much as I should because I absolutely love it um, I think it's got to be one of the, my my favourite tops that I've ever knit. Um, but I have crocheted around the armhole and I've made it a lot more rigid. And it's come out, I wouldn't say smaller, but the actual 
sleeve, like the underarm, is not as big now. Like it's, it was really stretchy, really over. What I'll do is tomorrow I will put it on if I remember, um, and I'll show you what it looks like now because it's not as gapy like further down. I have tried it on. I've got my pajamas on now, so you'll have to excuse that. But um, I'm just really pleased with the way that this has come out. So th there's a lot more. Um, it's a lot more sturdy. It's not as stretchy where before it was really really stretchy. And there's a lot of stretch in this yarn anyway. Um, but oh, I love, I just love it so much. Yeah, I'm so happy with this and I can see me wearing this a lot. And I'm hoping that it will wash and it will um, be okay and it will last me for a long, long time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Um... And that's all I've been up to this evening. Um, I went on Zoom as well uh, with some lovely friends and basically finished my sock, crocheted the edge on um, that top on, on the sleeves and we just literally spoke about all different things. Um, we also uh, went through like different people that we watch on YouTube and to see if there was any crossover or new people we could find um, and there was a, a few new people that I've not heard been mentioned before, I've not heard of. Um, so yeah that was that was really nice and yeah Ian's just gone to work. It's 11 o'clock so I'm gonna I'm just put the grocery girls on the TV. I'm gonna watch um, a bit of their video because it is like two and a half hours long. I will not be watching the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna watch that, cut my ends, um, and I need to weave in a couple as well, and then weigh that yarn, put it in my bag. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with yarn that's less than five gram. I do have um, a jar over there that has got um, bits and pieces in, but I don't think I, I want to, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, <laughs> I've not decided, so right, I'm going to weave in these ends and then um, once that's done and I've drunk my tea, I think I might go to bed because I am quite tired, um, but I've got a biscuit brew tea, my absolute fave at the moment, tea's probably not the best thing to drink before bed, but um, yeah, I love a cup of tea. Sorry for the slurping. I apologise. I will try and cut that out if I can. <laughs> um, anyway, right, I'm going. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I also want to say thank you to all, everyone, for their lovely comments on my videos. It means the absolute world. And I know I say this a lot when I say thank you to people and stuff. Um, I always think my vlogs are really boring. And the, like sometimes they're very samey or sometimes they can be quite different and, and whatnot but I just want to say thank you because all your lovely comments it just makes this all worthwhile that people are enjoying watching my videos and um, there's also one lady um, that's in hospital at the moment and she's saying that she's watching my vlogs and um, yeah I just want to say thank you um, I love seeing comments um, and I love seeing people that interact and, and all stuff like that. So yeah, just thank you again. And I appreciate it. I really, really do. So thank you. Right, I'm going now. <laughs> thank you for watching and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.